Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the webinar Rapa Compounding, the expertise you need to succeed. My name is Natalia Gorricho, and I will be the moderator of this session. Before we get started, I would like to cover some housekeeping ruling, rules. During the webinar, please keep your microphone muted. Feel free to use the chat during the presentation if you want to ask a question or address them at the end during the Q&A part. Today, we will record the webinar. Today's presenter is Niklas Nisson, Trelebor Ceiling for SEDA Sales Manager, and he will be supported by Carl Cummins, a Material Development Manager. Without further ado, I will give the floor to Niklas. Hi, everyone. My name is Nicholas Nilsson, and along with my colleague Carl Cumming, we are going to lead you through today's webinar, Rubber Compounding, the expertise you need to succeed. To start with, I would like to give you all a short introduction of the Trelleborg Group, which is a world leader in engineered polymer solutions. The company was founded in 1905 and are today represented in more than 50 countries around the world. The head office is based in Trelleborg in the south of Sweden. To explain the broad portfolio of materials and products that the Trellebo Group are responsible for, we usually say that we produce and deliver products from space to seabed. But who are we then, standing before you, having this webinar? Well, we are of course a part of the group, but we represent Trelleborg Mixing Forschheder, which is one of the 115 manufacturing facilities within the group. We are based in Forsheda, and for those who isn't so familiar with the Swedish geography, we could say it's in the southern parts of Sweden. We produce rubber compounds and cable compounds that is delivered globally. We have our own uh, research and development unit, which gives us the ability to produce unique solutions together with our customers. Let us have a look at the art of compounding. What could help you in your search for a new supplier? Number one, raw materials. The last two years have been tough regarding supplies of raw material. Dual sourcing has become more and more important to ensure availability, but also to keep the properties of the compound. Working with multiple suppliers to ensure deliveries gives you also a good overview of cost. Having different suppliers with equal materials helps you not only to assure materials, but also to choose between materials to improve properties. Capabilities. When you as a customer starts looking for a new supplier, it's important for you to find a partner that suits you and your needs. It is easy to just focus on the supplier's production and lead time, but there are so much more to have in mind. For instance, don't forget the importance of a functional lab where both you and your supplier can find solutions and answers. Flexibility is another important parameter and could be measured in so many ways, like batch sizes, number of compounds and colors. Then we have beyond the recipe. There are so much more than just the recipes in the collaboration. From your point of view as a customer, it is important that continuous improvements, sustainability work and cost reduction. Don't forget the packaging. There are also savings to be made. There's more to it than just the raw material. Rubber compounds normally contain five to 15 ingredients where all have their special function. Below you can see how a typical rubber recipe are put together. We will go through the different ingredients in the following pages explaining a little closer what their special functions are. By choosing different ingredients and amounts, there are endless of opportunities. Now let us go through the different ingredients and what they contribute within the compound. We'll start with polymer. The word poly is in polymer stands for many and mere in polymer stands for units which means that polymer is a lot of units put together in a long chain. 
polymer gives the basic characteristics of the final compound. Depending on what monomers the polymers are based on and how they are designed, the properties are different. Which polymers could work in which scenarios? Below, we have written some examples. Keep in mind that you could mix different polymers to achieve the right balance. There are no easy solutions. Let's talk about a milk tube, for example. As you can see on the picture on the right side, this product should work in a harsh environment, withstanding UV lightning, chemicals when cleaning the tube, abrasion when cows are standing on the tube, and food compliance. What polymer should be selected to this product? As in almost every compound, you need to compromise to get the right balance in the compound. This specific product can consist of a mixture of three different polymers. EPDM to withstand the ozone and to be resistant to chemicals. SBR for processing and NR for tear strength and abrasion. It is critical that the correct polymer is selected. Reinforcing. Material like carbon black, which is fine carbon particles, gives the compound very good performance. Therefore, most rubber compounds are black. For color compounds is silicon dioxide, often used. Reinforcing materials increases hardness and gives good mechanical properties to the compound. Performance comes from the fine particle size and structure. Just to make you understand how fine the particles are, you can say that one gram of carbon black is equal to a surface area of 10 to 100 square meter, depending on type. Filler. Filler is a, co a coarser powder like chalk and clay that often gives better processing and reduced cost, but also gives worse performance. As always in rubber compounds, it is finding the best compromise. Plasticizer are often mineral oils, which gives good processing and reduce the hardness. It will also reduce price, just as performance. For oil resistant uh, compounds, special oil types must be selected. <clears throat> Protecting agents. Well, they help the rubber to survive in difficult environments or cracking in sunlight. In picture one on the right, you can see a severe ozone attack due to insufficient protecting agent. There can be a tricky balance to get all the performance in place. Curatives. Curatives transform the rubber from a sticky mass to a flexible rubber product. Unvulcanized rubber can be described as cooked spaghetti, as in the top of image number two. Curing the rubber, forming the three-dimensional network, which gives the rubber its characteristics, which as you can understand, is essential in the rubber industry. There are several curatives, which influences the process and performance. But where to start? What information is required to speed up the process when talking to a rubber manufacturer. Could you back one slide, please? As we mentioned earlier, it's all about finding the correct balance and compromise between a couple of different key values. Processability, behavior of the material in customer's production. There is a trade of, there's a trade of between performance and processability. Compounds with high performance is often more difficult to process. We designed a compound for your production. By performance, we mean how good the product fulfill demands and functions to give a long lifetime in the final application. Quality, consistent quality uh, on correct level, cost efficient solution, and um, environmental footprint becomes more and more essential. CO2 levels are important both for raw materials as well as production and transportation. To speed up the development, specification versus soft demands. When contacting a new manufacturer, 
you need to present the specifications you have for the product. What parameters should the material product need to obtain? These hard facts are usually, usually easier to collect and discuss, but then we have the soft demands. These demands are in some cases harder to reach, while well, you need to look at the broader perspective. When discussing the product, try to give as much information as possible when it comes to function, media contact, which temperatures the product are exposed to, and other critical information about the performance. There could be more special requirements of the compound, like will it be in contact with food, or are there any prohibited chemicals? Should the compound be matched to any color or possible discoloration? Does your company or product have any recycled or bio-based targets? How should it process and how long shelf life is needed? Remember, you can never give too much information. By leaving out one or several severe data, the process could be prolonged and very expensive. There are many common mistakes. If you don't know what you are doing, it could be very costly for you. Let's show some examples. Shelf life, for example. A compound is mixed, fulfilling all your needs. It works out well in your production, but then something goes wrong. You have told the manufacturer that you will order five ton per delivery, but you forget to tell them that you are buying the material twice a year in larger quantities to keep the price down and then you store it in your warehouse for four to six months before using it. When you are going to use it, the material has vulcanized. You can't take for granted the material should be useful in half a year. The material in your stock is useless and you need to scrap several tons of good material, huge cost that could have been avoided. Food compliance. After days or perhaps weeks of hard work from the R&D department, they finally present a compound fulfilling your needs. Then you remember or receive information that the product could get in contact with food. This piece of information means that the material specialist needs to start all over again. All hours that have been invested in the project is lost and lead to unnecessary costs. Introducing new tests. You have informed the material specialist about all the requirements you have. After the compound is completed, a new test is introduced. Perhaps um, the compound won't pass it since it has not been considered in the design. Chemical restriction. After the compound has been put together, there will suddenly appear new information. One chemical is not allowed any longer. As we presented above, all ingredients contribute with their special functions. When one chemical is restricted, it needs to be exchanged to something equal. This could change the entire recipe. Solutions that deliver results. Well, what are our solution? Compounds. We have a large number of rubber polymers available, such as EPDM, NBR, SBR, CR, and many, many more. We can also supply you with compounds in different colors. Portfolio. Today, we have more than 300 active compounds. Perhaps we have something that could suit your needs, or perhaps we can adjust it, one of them to reach your target faster. Capabilities. Today, we have a lab mixer for small samples. Then we have two mixers running in production for different volumes to suit your needed volume. We have a strainer that can be used to achieve better surface on extruded profiles. Our new strip folding machine gives us the flexibility to deliver continuous strips in widths from 45 to 200 millimeter. We can also deliver tank strips in many different widths from 28 up to full width of 720 millimeter. Thickness of the strips are 6 to 12 millimeter. Packaging. We have a number of ways of delivering your compounds. 
Tag strips will be delivered on pallets, plastic or wooden. Continuous strips will be delivered in well boxes, wooden pallets with frames or plastic boxes. Sustainable. Today, sustainability is a very important topic and we can deliver sustainable compounds in different levels. We have recycled carbon black permanent in one of our silos, which gives us the flexibility to produce fast samples. We have sustainable polymers, oils, and are today working with many sustainable projects on different levels to different customers to different industries. Know-how. More than 100 years of experience in rubber. We have our own research and development unit with a dedicated, dedicated team of six material specialists that are working to fulfill your needs. But there is more to it. Let's look at some key differentiators. Better function. It's all about making the right choices from the start. Your products are important to us, why we need to find the best customized compound for you and your production. Recognizing, uh, recognize, recognizing cost optimization uh, or optimization opportunities is important and gives value. We are there to support you. All in one, the front line of innovation. During the last year, Trelleborg mixing four shader has improved UV durability. The lifetime uh, was extended six times on light colored profiles. We have also helped customers to improve sealing properties and resistance against chemicals. Better business. Every detail counts if you want to stay ahead of competition. We help you strengthening your offering and competitiveness. Cost optimization is something that could take time, but are still so important. This could help you save a business or to increase it. In these challenging times, it is more important than ever to have a supplier that have a wide portfolio of materials and compounds. Availability helps your business survive. Three steps to improve productivity and reliability. It could sound simple, but by using continuous strips, you can actually increase productivity. You can help, we can help you save costs by changing compound, mixing from two stages into one stage. Wide range of raw materials are, and suppliers helps us to cost optimize your compounds. Then we have better sustainability. Sustainability is good for your business. All our substances are REACH and ROHS compliant in our rubber, protecting people and the environment. Energy efficient materials helps reducing CO2 emissions. Using sustainable raw materials are good for you and the environment. Be a better future. During 2021, we introduced the green rubber compound, a collaboration with one of our customers. This compound is produced with 100% recycled carbon black. More and more customers are asking us to provide samples with recycled carbon black. That is why we have invested in three new silos to have the ability to have carbon black permanent in one of them to speed up samples, production and increase flexibility. Multiple projects are today ongoing for sustainable compounds for all industries. But there is always room for improvements. To underline the information you have been given in this presentation, we want to present a case study. We received a challenge. If you please could go back one, Natalia. We received a challenge. A manufacturing company contacted us to see if we had any ability to help them produce a compound in a more cost effective way. The information we received was that they were going to lose the business if they couldn't find a fast solution to be more competitive on price. Our solution. 
we sat down with the manufacturer collecting information. After receiving the full picture, we saw a quick solution. By offering them a new format, continuous strips, they can improve productivity and reduce their workforce. We also looked into the recipe and made some changes to it to make it even more competitive. What was the result then? Well, with, the, with improved productivity, our customer could decrease the price and keep the business. Today, we are the first supplier and delivering most of the compounds. But we are not satisfied yet. Our work continues and we have now started a cost optimization journey. Changes in the recipes could decrease cost and they can become even more competitive. Let's talk about three takeaways. Number one, when it comes to optimize your solution, it's a good, it's a good access to different raw materials. By changing ingredients, you may increase productivity, availability, change the characteristics or cost. By choosing and mixing the different ingredients and amounts, there are endless of opportunities. Every ingredient in the compound is unique and could change the characteristics of the compound. Get it right. By choosing uh, the right packaging and format for your needs, it could help you to be competitive on the market. It is easy just to focus on the recipe, but if you think about the entire process and tell your customized needs, you can improve, pro improve productivity and reduce workforce. Beyond the recipe, there can never be too much information. If you want to speed up the process for, the, for a new compound, it is critical that all information is lifted. But remember, it is not only the technical specifications that are important. The soft demands could be just as significant and could be the difference between failing or succeeding. If you want to dive in deeper, well, scan the QR code and you will be re redirected to our website. There you can find more information and also how to contact our material specialists. Hope you have enjoyed our webinar and thank you so much for listening. Are there any questions? Yes, hello. We have uh, oh. some questions, so let's start with the first one. How much savings can we do by changing compound missing from two states into one state? I would like to move on to car. Yes, there's some saving that can be done there. Uh, two states mixing you do to get better dispersion and better performance of the compound. Uh, if the application allows to mix in that can be done there but also looking at all the quantities with higher order quantities you can also do saving on the compound cost okay thank you carl let's move to the second one um, i cannot see well the chat but uh, Um, why don't all components have long shelf life? Yeah, that's a good good question there. Uh, the shelf life depends on the curing system, and there are in principle two different curing systems. There is peroxide curing, and there's sulfur curing. Sulfur curing gives good um, abrasion resistance and flexibility and you can adjust uh, the curing speed a lot. So sulfur curing is used for uh, tires, so it's the majority there. But the thing with sulfur curing is that you get shorter life, uh, shelf life. Uh, and in principle, it is that if you want to cure the compound fast in your production, you will get shorter uh, shelf, shelf life. Then there's peroxide cured compounds. 
they give a very long shelf life, but then they have the drawbacks with less, less uh, tear resistance and flexibility pro properties and things like that. Uh, they also give a very uh, good high high performance, the high temperature performance. So it's um, a balance there. You have to select depending on your application what what curing system you you want to use. Thank you. Let's move to the third one. Regarding CO2 footprints, moving to sustainable materials, how big reductions of CO2 is possible? Yes, that's that's also a very uh, interesting topic, and there's uh, a lot of work going on there. Uh, there are three big ingredients in the compound. So it's the polymer, it's the fillers, and it's the oils. So if you would work with only one of them, you you get less CO2 reduction, of course. But if you would make changes in all of those three, uh, working towards bio-based or recycled materials, then you can get much, much bigger CO2 reduction. Um, and it varies a lot uh, depending on what you uh, want to use and so, but I believe that up to 50% CO2 reduction is not unrealistic. Um, a lot of this with bio-based and recycled materials, it also comes, comes with a cost. So there's a, there's a balance there, how much CO2 and how, how much cost you are prepared to take. Uh, but I believe in future that, that the cost difference will be reduced because now it's lower volumes and new new techniques moving to, to more these more sustainable materials. But in future, I think it will be a standard. OK, thank you, Carl. Another question. Can all materials be delivered in continuous strips? Yes, in principle, all materials can be delivered in prince in, in continuous strips. Um, um, materials that are very difficult to process uh, will be difficult to deliver in very, very narrow strips because if there's a there's a hole in the compound in the mill, then you will break break the, uh, the strip. But uh, if the if the strips are broader, it should be OK. But just bear in mind that continuous strips, you have to have an, uh, an order quantity of something like a ton to be able to to uh, to thread all of this and make make it continuous strips. OK, thank you, Carl. Another question when moving to a sustainable material, how big is the impact on cost? Um, yeah, I would touch that before a bit. Uh, as we see, um, moving to bio-based materials and so on, they come with an ad additional cost. So, um, if you're lucky, you will have have the same same cost, but most likely, you will the cost will in be increased. Yeah. And I think this is the last one. How big could the cost savings be by your optimizing a receipt, for instance, 20%? 20% uh, is a bit much, but depends where you come from. Do you, do you, do you have, are you overperforming a lot? Then then you can make, make bigger ch changes. And especially if you have special ingredients and can go into more standard in ingredients, but say a couple of percent up to perhaps 10, 10%. Thank you, Carl. So thank you, Nicholas, and thank you, Carl. Um, I would like to finish uh, this uh, session by asking you to share your feedback with us. As I will, uh, yeah, the feedback form will be available soon on the chat, and uh, it will only take you a few minutes to fill in it. I also will um, inform you that we will send soon the full recording of the webinar. And um, that is all for today. Thank you very much for joining us and submitting your questions. And I wish you a very good day. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye.